What is up guys, AshBFC here, welcoming you to Max Payne 2, The Fall of Max Payne. Of course, the sequel to the amazing first game. And man, it seems like it was just yesterday when I was buying this game when it just came out back in 2003. I was only 14 years old, I'd saved up all my pocket money just for this game, I was so excited for it. And I remember uh, I bought it from the local Asda supermarket, which was just down the road from the high school I used to go to. And I went down there in the morning with my mum and uh, picked it up. But uh, of course, uh, I had to go to school first before I could go home and play it. And it was freaking torture. It was the longest day ever. I was like, oh, screw education. I want to play Max Payne, goddammit. But then finally the day ended and I went home and played it. Absolutely loved it. It's just an amazing game. Now, I don't think it's quite as good as the first game. I think the first will always be uh, the best in my eyes. But goddamn, it's still one hell of a game. So yeah, let's get it started. now. It takes place um, two years after the first Max Payne, and Max has cleared his name and he's now working as a detective for the NYPD. So, here we go, the fall of Max Payne. <laughs> God, I turned out to be such a damsel in distress. They were all dead. Love kills. Did I love her? Was there a choice? The past is a gaping hole. You try to run from it. The more you run, the deeper, more terrible it grows behind you. Its edges yawning at your heels. Your only chance is to turn around and face it. We are at the sea. Repeat, we are at the sea. But it's like looking down into the grave of your love. Check the area. Hold your fire! Or kissing the mouth of a gun, a bullet trembling in its dark nest, ready to blow your head off. We're losing him. Multiple gunshot wounds, pupils blown, head trauma, God only knows what else. He's in shock. Start two large four IVs, get him to ICU. He's dead. not responding. This guy is a train wreck. We're losing him. When I woke up in the hospital earlier tonight, I thought it couldn't get any worse. I opened my eyes, and everything slid into focus. She was dead. I was hurt. My crime, what I had done, was like a hungry pit behind me. I had to run, get as far away from it as possible. The world was out of joint. I was hallucinating. I had to get away. Max, the roots clear. Right, here we go, man. Max is looking rough. He looks in bad shape. Anyway, right, we'll check these, have some uh, painkillers. We'll find out what exactly has gone down as we progress through the game. But I remember seeing his face for the first time. I was a little bit disappointed because they changed it because in the first game they used uh, Sam Lake's face. Uh, he was the, the lead writer for Max Payne. But oh well. Oh. I got used to it. Anyone there? Max, about what happened. Seems like he's hearing voices. Man. a blind spot in my head. A bullet-shaped hole where the answer should be. Call it denial. Mm, Detective DOA. Hmm, wonder what that could be. Alright, actually, he's a painkiller. Let's ease the pain. There we go. Alright, this way. Uh oh. Hostile 
I'll deal with pain. He's as good as dead. Freeze, NYPD. Found him. Okay, here we go. First taste of action. Yeah, slow mo. <laughs> Look at those physics. Man, I remember when I first saw that, I was so impressed. I think I've talked about it in the past uh, some other walkthroughs. How I used to be so impressed with physics as a kid. I was so amazed by them. Yeah, because the, the first game didn't have physics, so it was kind of a big step up for this one. Oh, it looked awesome. Jeez. She's one of them. She's here to kill me. Back off, Payne. Winterson. Damn, come on, Max. Snap out of it. Alright. Maybe we've got a little TV over here. I forgot what this show is. They're pretty amusing watching these TV shows. You can see, like, lords and ladies and stuff. I think actually Sam Lake's on these. I think. Oh well. It's not a uh, waste time. <laughs> Elevator. Here we go. Pain. Hey, it's Jim Bavara. You're not going anywhere. What happened out there? You did it. Eternal Affairs is breathing down my neck. Did you do it? You killed her. No, I can't. The bullshit. running in circles until you fall back down to the same hole you were trying to escape from only the holes grown deeper jeez nearly blown to hell you see he uh, dropped his weapons there as well so he's an arm now I had tried to run from it edit it out Winterson was dead I was a murderer false start. The hospital bed wasn't the beginning. It was past the point of no return. A fatal choice already made. And it would get worse before the end. The past is a puzzle, like a broken mirror. As you piece it together and you cut yourself, your image keeps shifting. And you change with it. It could destroy you, drive you mad. It could set you free. You, inside. Drop your weapons and come out with your hands above your head. You'll see the choices you didn't know you'd made, like staying at work late to chat with a friend, instead of hurrying home to your family. Fan out, people! Circle around! Cover all the exits! Kissing her, I think of the cold laws of cause and effect. Bear those extra units! Call the Central! We need every available unit here now! I am afraid, but I start again from the beginning trace my own steps to the scene of the crime. Alright, chapter one, elevator doors. I had wanted to be punished for what I had done, but Alfred Woden had kept his word. With his influence, ridiculously, I had emerged from my history of violence unscathed. A hero. I didn't thank him. I couldn't stomach it. I left the DEA. I went back to where I had started out. Back to the job. The NYPD. Reported shots fired in the warehouse there. Acknowledge. It's mine. I'm on it. 10-4. It wasn't a call for a homicide detective, but I knew the address. The warehouse belonged to Vladimir Lem. He was connected to organized crime. We went back a while. Like brothers caught on opposite sides in a civil war. His words.
I need backup. Unknown number of armed perps inside. Possible hostage situation. 10-4, backup is on its way. I'm going in. All right, possible hostage situation. Let's check it out. We're on the back. With no way to deal with the past, I kept my eyes on the road, off the rear view mirror and the road kill behind me. I chased lesser mysteries, other people's crimes. Yeah, just the TV. What is that? Is that uh, Dick Justice or something like that? But anyway, come on. We've got a hostage situation, possibly, so... We can't hang around. Let's check it out. Oh, who's this? NYPD! Whoa, easy, officer, easy. Just cleaning the place. Come on, officer, it's all legit. I work for the squeaky cleaning company. You didn't hear anything suspicious just now? No, no. Oh, wait! <laughs> you mean the gun workshop upstairs? Take me there. Move. Sure, officer. If that's what you want. Hmm. No, officer, Dude seems awfully down. calm, so he just had a gun pointed in his face, but... Go to the crime scene Let's follow him. We're the ones who have to clean up that mess, brains, and guts and shit. Detective. DT, huh? You know what I mean. <laughs> you get the credit, what do we get? Right. <laughs> oh yeah, you know what I'm saying. Hmm. I'm suspicious of this guy. I don't trust him. After you, detective. If you insist. All right, here we go. Oh shit, oh, blood. I've got something for you. Son of a bitch! It's a trap. Oh! Here we go. Shoot, dodge. Yeah, awesome. I definitely prefer the uh, shoot dodge and stuff in this game over the first. I right, got another guy right there. You can actually use it as many times as you want. It doesn't drain your meter, so that's kind of cool. But a regular bullet time that does a nice effect filters. there. But it does automatically regenerate, whereas uh, you had to kill in the other game to get it to fill up. All right, I've got the dual pistols right now. Should have a ping. Oh, more gunfire. What we got? Here we go, two more guys. Whey! Oh, yeah. That is awesome. I love it. I managed to shot this guy. Through here. Oh, I hear voices. Guys at the top of the stairs. Here we go. Let's pour one in his head. Yeah! You as well. The room looked like a gun storage, but it had been cleaned out. Hey, reflection. The answering machine had a message on it. Now we got some ammo right there. We'll shotgun ammo, special ammo. Let's have a listen to the answer machine then. I'm not here right now because I'm building some nasty things that kill. So leave a message after the beep. You have one new message. Sweet Annie, flood here to be a gun in your gentle care. Ah, man can dream. Sorry I couldn't be there as promised. Something's come up. Nothing to worry about, but keep an eye out for trespassers. If anything happens to you, anything comes up, just whistle and I'll be there. Yeah, that was a flood right there. Hopefully you can hear that. He's kind of quiet. Alright, this way. Something in this cabinet. Oh, painkiller. Got the safe. Shotgun ammo. All right. Oh, here we go. Enough chit chat. Finish her. Wait, the mob guys attacked us. I have no beef with you guys. You took them out. Listen, I work for Vladimir. Honey, you work for no one. <laughs> what do you want? We we can. NYPD, drop them. Her. Oh God, no! Like all the bad things in my life, it started with the death of a woman. I couldn't save her. Oh man, bad move, Max. Uh, yeah, she's done for. 
Here we go, we've got a, uh, what have I got there? We've got a sawn off shotgun and uh, Ingram. I'm not too keen on the sawn off, so I'm going to go with the Ingram. Oh, we got more guys. Here we go. So we're almost right of ammo. Let's go back to the uh, dual pistols. Oh! Oh, guy with the shotgun. Is that pump action? I think it is. Don't mind if I take that. Yeah, there we go. Now we're talking. I can hear the cop sirens. Come on. Come on. <sighs> Finally. Hey! Mona? Max, we gotta stop meeting like this. Mona! Mona Sachs? The hell's she doing here? She's supposed to be dead. If you think nothing can get to you, you're lying to yourself. At best, you're temporarily dead. A lightning bolt can reanimate you without a warning. Man, what's she doing here? Shoot him. Oh, that guy's down there. Screw it. I'll meet them down at the bottom. My backup had arrived, but the cleaners were slipping away. And the run for it. Oh god, maniac on a forklift! <laughs> Guy was here jumping off. Oh god. There's another guy in there I didn't get, did I? Yeah, there he is. Oh Christ, another guy in a freaking fort that kind of crushed me with the shells. Oh man, look at these body bags. These guys have been busy. I'm going the wrong way, eh? it's this way. We're working together on this. You got sloppy pain. You screwed up. It's unacceptable that she's dead. You can do better. I played it as business as usual. But everything had changed the moment those elevator doors opened to reveal Mona. Annie Finn was a licensed gunsmith, licensed dealer in firearms. Right. The property owned by Vladimir Lem. Three groups. One, DOAs who had connections to Russian OC. Identified as Finn's employees. Two, the Mafia. And three, the clowns wearing the cleaning company jumpsuits. They mentioned a name, Kaufman. This one's evil. It has only started. I don't like it. I don't like it a bit. It's yours, Payne. It makes no sense. For you, Winterson, homicide. Sebastian Gate. It's gonna be all over the news. The Senator. Winterson was the ideal. What the job was all about. Someone to look up to. Bravora knew it too. We got lucky. There's an eyewitness. She hovered over my shoulder, whispering warnings. I didn't want to listen. Mona was the suspect in Winterson's case. I didn't tell them I had seen her. I wanted to stall. Maybe it was because she was alive when everyone else kept dying on me. Survivor's guilt washed away. Detective Winterson's phone. Give me that. Your boyfriend. The computer search on the squeaky cleaning company and Kaufman had come up empty. Alright, chapter 2 of Criminal Mastermind. Well, that's for next time, so we'll stop this one here. So, yeah, Mona Sachs is still alive and he's a murder suspect. So, hmm, interesting. But anyway, as usual, thanks for watching, guys. I shall see you next time for some more Max Payne. Later.